Well, hello. Today, I am going to be talking about the invasive Burmese python here to Florida. The thing is, is that when people first get the idea of Burmese in Florida, they automatically think the entire state's covered in them, and that is just not true. There might be some stragglers here and there, you know, released pets and such that are further north, but the main populations that everyone's actually thinking about are in the Everglades. South of Okeechobee, you're you know, there, there's potential that you're in their range. Now, one of the things that I first thought about when I started hearing about the Burmese when I was a kid was that um, they were just absolutely everywhere and you can actually just go outside, look around and find them and they're eating all the alligators or eating everything, you know, you see it happening. But the more I talked to people and the more I actually went down there and saw it myself, I saw that it wasn't entirely that way. Yes, there are a lot of them, but they're not always the easiest thing to find. You don't just stumble across them constantly. Now, for the people who are watching this video who do a lot of herping down there and do find them constantly, most people don't. That's all I'm saying. Burmese python is a pretty large snake, one of the longest in the world and in the wild in their native homeland of Southeast Asia. They have been known to get upwards of 26 feet. Now, a very big snake. That is un confirmed in the in the mid 20s is definitely in their range in florida though the largest 18 foot 9 inches and it's still a very large snake but within the next few years there's probably going to be multiple 20 foot snakes found now the first one in florida was recorded being found in 1979 so within a lot of our lifetimes um not mine i was born in 95 but definitely within my parents lifetimes so it really hasn't been that terribly long. Now, these snakes were probably released at first from a few household pets, and a few of them survived, but I don't really think it was as big of an issue uh, at, just like any of our other invasives. It, they, there wasn't enough of them out and around to really exponentially grow. But in 1992, Hurricane Andrew came through and hit south florida very hard especially the homestead area and one of the places that it destroyed was a reptile breeding facility and it is estimated that over 100 snakes escaped that day and since then the population has just exploded it is estimated that upwards of 90 percent of the native small mammals have been wiped out that includes anything from otters to raccoons to possums Gators, although there is the famous story of the gator that was eaten by the Burmese python, the Burmese python exploded. Gators aren't at as much of a risk as people might think. Sure, they, the Burmese probably eat a lot of them, but the gators are doing just fine. And it is rare that something like that one instance actually happens. There are multiple agencies that offer rewards for the hunting of the Burmese python. Um, there are events like festivals around it. You can now hunt them year round at 25 different WMAs in Florida where they occur. Also, if you're on private land um, with own homeowner's permission, you can kill them whenever you want and as many as you want. Now, one of the things I found interesting is that th th there really is no actual good estimation for how many are out there. USGS.gov says that there are upwards of tens of thousands, but other places I saw said there could be upwards of 300,000. So basically there's a lot out there, but we really have no idea how much are actually out there. And every year more and more are killed. Every year more and more are brought in through all sorts of programs. I don't know if the genie can be put back in the bottle on this one. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe and comment down below if you want me to cover uh, another species. Appreciate y'all watching and you guys have a good rest of your day.